At the University of Wisconsin, Marilyn Essex is studying that link between stressed children and stressed adults by monitoring stress levels in these children from birth to maturity. The research involves putting the children into stressful situations and monitoring the levels of the hormone cortisol. Cortisol is one of the major hormones that really gives you an indication of how people respond physiologically to stress. And because it's very easy to obtain, because all somebody needs to do is spit, so you can really get it from children very easily. There you go. That was a good one. It gives you a very quick sense of how kind of alert this person's body is all the time, I mean, how, how stressed they are at any given point in time. So it's, it's just a basic hormone that's, that's released under stressful conditions. These children are being put under stress, Hi. meeting someone new for the first time. Each child responds differently, producing different amounts of cortisol. Who came here with you today? My mom and dad. Ah. Who came here with you today? Huh. What we expect to see is that um, children who have high cortisol levels are going to really withdraw and they do things like um, they will literally back up in the room, they'll keep their head down, they'll you know, avert their eyes, um, and other children will just be chatty and talk right away. Who came with you here today? You having a good time? That's good. Two of the children display a typical stress response. Their cortisol levels are almost certainly rising. You having a good time? Well, that's good. This is only a problem if the levels of cortisol stay high in their bodies for a long time. Say these numbers just as I do. Three, nine, five, three. For children who are very reactive, their cortisol levels will stay high and sometimes they'll even continue to increase throughout the time that we're there. Those are the children who are typically the most shy and withdrawn and inhibited children. And they're gonna be more upset by things uh, more easily. They are likely to have health problems, more physical health problems, more colds. The cortisol really has a negative effect on almost every organ in the body. Madeline Essex is looking to see whether the children recover quickly or continue to display signs of chronic stress. So now you have two moves to make your pieces look just like mine. Now the majority of kids will slowly you know, settle down on these even under conditions of stress and their cortisol levels will come back down again. But the children that we're particularly interested in are ones who their cortisol level doesn't recover to baseline. She is using her findings to advise parents of ways to reduce the effects of chronic stress on a young child. Okay, now I'll try to make your pieces match mine in one move. What a parent can really do is to think ahead of time about what the experiences of that child are going to be. Like, we're going to a doctor um, tomorrow, or we're going to meet um, a new um, friend in the neighborhood, and can say, what can I do with this you know, what do I know about my child that lets me help them feel that this situation isn't scary? <laughs>